Okay, we're back for the third part, and we've done some math. Um, and so Stalmaris, Stalmaris is going to be getting an amulet of mighty fists in two, which will give him a sweet, sweet plus one enhancement bonus on all of his natural weapon attacks, which is pretty dope. Um, so yeah, so you you sort of sort that out over like you're I, I, you're probably like discussing this over breakfast or something. Mm. Um, and Dimvar has already like drawn up uh, like a sketch of what the amulet's going to look like. Um, uh, it's like a like a clockwork hand, um, and then like each of the like fists, like each of the knuckles on the hand is like one of those little fire opals. Oh, um, I love it. That's nice. awesome. <laughs> um, and so, uh, yeah, so she's she's going to work on that for you. Um, and so, yeah, are you going to head off to, to Red Tooth? Yeah. Sounds then? good. I think so, yeah. yes. So if Cassie and Stamaris die before the, we get to claim the amulet, you're welcome to take it. <laughs> yeah. Um... So yeah, so you head over to, to Red Tooth's territory, um, and so as you're walking over there, you kind of notice that people are giving you like a wider berth, um, and yeah. then you catch you you catch like a a, a couple of kids, um, like young looking orcs, uh, <laughs> saying like they're the ones they're the ones who did it that they, they, they killed Marrow. Um, and a giant wasp. I found the giant wasp. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> and a magical. Yeah. 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 Um, and, and, so, and once you sort of move into Red Tooth's territory, um, you can see that like they've stepped up their patrols. So there's now more um, groups of rat folk moving around. Um, and once you get into the Warren, like it is a buzz with activity. There are there. Are there are rat folk running around doing all sorts of stuff. Um, and you're led sort of through the cave system again uh, to Red Tooth, who is um, standing in. Uh, so she's in like the, the very back of the caves now. Um, so Whiskey Fisk is there and they're having a conversation, uh, and there's a pit behind them. And in the pit, you can see a rust monster. So one of those, um, like, insect things with the big antennas, mm -hmm. and it's munching down on, like, a plate of metal. Um, and so they're having a conversation. Uh, and you probably catch the, the tail end of it. Huh? Lol, tail, rats. <laughs> um, and Whiskey Fisk is saying, oh, we just don't... If, if the others didn't escape, we could have... Um, with only one of them, it's just not going to work. Uh, and and then he turns hey. and sees you. Only uh, one of what? <laughs> Damn it! <laughs> uh, 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 the the the, rust, the rusties. Oh, we only have one. Chirpus is the only one left. Oh. How many oh, do that. you need? What do you need them for? Uh, Red Tooth, uh, like, chuckles, is a bit of a crazier plan. Uh, we used to have half a dozen rust monsters, but they escaped when Whiskey Fisk was captured. Um, we thought maybe we could have them chew under the support structure of the arena, but it's probably not going to work. a great plan. Do you know where the rust monsters would have escaped to? Um, Whiskey Fisk says, oh, they just they live all over the place. Uh, very good hiders. Um, it would take, we... take a long time to find find more and train them properly. Mm. All right. Well, can we bring them back? Do we have some way of tracking them? By lying, no. can we scent smell? <laughs> we, we did spot a few the other day. Yeah. Did we? Yeah, you killed some. Yes, which is why I was um, saying don't mention that. <laughs> oh dear. Uh, so, uh, oh, there. Red Tooth says, uh, don't worry about it. The rust monster thing is long term. Um, uh, I have a better, more explosive plan. 
I like um, it already. Let's she comes up with me, and she and she leads you um, sort of out of the uh, um, out, out of the the rust monster staging area and into like an armory. Um, so there's there's like a bunch of like small crossbows all lined up with like packs of bolts uh, and little short swords, um, and then uh, there's a like a chest at the back, like a metal crate. And Red Tooth walks over to it, uh, unlocks it, and then dumps a bag on the table, um, which contains uh, sort of a number of bricks of um, like a clay-like sub substance. Um, they're about this big. Um, there's about half a dozen of them, um, and then a number of small. Uh, like electrical devices, um, like number counters on them, um, uh, and she says, "Boom!" Nice. <laughs> it looks like clay. <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> I guess should I try and identify it? I mean, I, I'm. I mean, you could, yeah. Yeah. So, knowledge engineering. Yeah. Um, let me see how many... 23s. Um, how many packs of this is there? Uh, yes, yeah, so so it's a, so it's a it's a detonator with four charges of like high powered explosives. Cool. Um, basically, not that overly useful in like combat, but um, could be used to blow the ever looking. Oh, it's silex, is what it's called. Silex. Okay. Silex. Yeah. Definitely not Semtex. <laughs> yes, that's what I, <laughs> I mean, it's, it's basically Semtex. Um, so, yeah. So, yeah, she's got this, this, this like, bag of, like, four bricks of explosives and a, a detonator with it. it. says, now, probably not quite enough. Um, but if we can get some more, that radio receiver... The Lords of Rust love so much. You can just bring the whole thing down. Ah. Why, why can we get more of this? <laughs> could we uh, augment that's the, the tricky part? Could we augment the efficiency of the explosives or this amount of explosives with the Rust Monster? I'm, I'm sorry, I don't think I follow. <laughs> You were planning on using the Rust Monsters. Well, your mate was planning on using the Rust Monsters too. It's my brother. Don't be disgusting. Oh. <laughs> I forget. <laughs> <laughs> By a logical... Your brother <laughs> was suggesting using Rust Monsters to undermine the arena. Goodness My brother sake. has a bit of obsession with rust monsters. Uh, I honestly don't think that's going to work. The arena is too large. But could we augment the destruction of the antenna with rust monsters? <sighs> Maybe, but honestly, I don't think that's going to work. The uh, she 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 grabs like a like a map from from behind. Uh, her belt and unrolls it. Uh, the the antenna array is supported by uh, seven uh, major structures. Uh, all of them will need to be destroyed in order to bring it down. Um, right now, we could take out four, um, and sure, we could send Chappas in to bring one of them down. Um, but there's no way he'd be able to take out all three before uh, the Lords of Rust come in. 
Mm. Could we take out two? Are we strong enough to do that? Then Mario no, has acid why claws. Why the bombs? Pardon? Then Mario has acid claws. Ruddy um, can punch one of them. Points, she <laughs> points at the, <laughs> at the explosives. It's why we need the bombs. <laughs> yes. Where do we get Fair more enough. bombs? That, my friends, is the hard part. And why I need you. Um, right. she, 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 like, grabs a, grabs a map of scrap wall. Um, the whole this ship is it? Yeah, and she points, um, at the ca the canyon at the top. Uh, at the, the northeast of uh. the, um, of, of scrap wall and says, uh, this is where we found the first lot. Uh, unfortunately, we weren't able to get everything, uh, and none of my people are willing to go back there. That what was there? the haunted place? Or... You there? could call it that, yes. Haunted, huh? We've already oh. turned down one ghost-related quest. Can we get the two ghosts to fight each other? <laughs> <laughs> Ghost fight. <laughs> yes, let's do that now. Um, hmm. Why won't they go back? What? What, what do they find there, apart from these explosives? Terror. <laughs> that is quite a bad thing to find. I see. Yeah. That is... I I sent four of my my best rats in there. All of them came back different, shaken to extremes I'd never seen before. Hmm. Did they describe yeah, their was... experience? I couldn't get it out of them. All they kept saying is, skulls in the wreck. Skulls in the wreck. Huh. Skulls, eh? Something about debris flying of its own free will. Ooh. Spooky uh, ghost. All right. Well, we can take that for right, guys. Hello, Lucinda. I think we can do it. Yeah. Yep. Oh. But doesn't getting there require like going ghost. through the Lords of Rust territory? Hmm. Mm. Uh, she nods, um, but looks you up and down and says been making quite a lot of noise. I don't think the Lords of Rust are going to just openly attack you. None of their people are that stupid. Hmm. Well, they are. I don't, I don't think we're that good, are we? <laughs> <laughs> yes, we are. Um, she, like, put, puts a finger <laughs> up, up to your lips and says, as long as you don't speak anything like that again, I'm sure you'll be fine. He blocked them to be. We want them to think you're a threat. <laughs> hmm. Don't you worry, we will be feared. We are good. Feared. Haven't you not seen the streets? Right. <laughs> yeah. Just gotta keep that up. Just walk through. Just we belong good. in the haunted area and we are gonna get there. Okay. Alright, we know what we have to do. Get some glass. bombs from the haunted area. <laughs> Do you have any details about the location of it, the explosives in the area? Uh, there's a, an ancient wreck in the canyon. Um, it's... Uh, let's see if I can find... Where's the map? Map, 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 map. Um, it's... About a hundred feet long, about seventy feet wide, um, metal, um, two like wing-like structures coming out of it, um, and an airlock. Um, says uh, explosives in there, um, but I couldn't get any details about where. Mm. Uh, the wreck is deep inside the can. Uh, taps on the map. Um, about a mile. No, or so. the light off. <laughs> yeah, about a mile or so. Right, okay. 
Oh, so, alright. Alright, I guess it's about half a mile. Okay. Not many um, encounters in half a mile. Oh. No. Sure, alright. Well then, I guess we know what we must do. Yes, we will go retrieve the explosives. Yeah, sounds good. Can we see if the people who've been there before, see if we can glean the information from them, even if they don't reveal it to us themselves? <laughs> uh, what was that, sorry? Can we see if the people who've been there before? Just to... um, yeah. No, they're out on scouting missions at the moment. I... Right. I forget, can we actually okay. get there uh, through the arena area or do we have to go through the cliff bit? Um, you can either go... Yeah, you, you either have to go um, through the canyon um, or up around the arena. Okay. Mm. I mean, the canyon I'm leads to go to around the, the arena, I think. Canyon leads to the satellite dish, doesn't it? Yeah. Yes. We yeah. probably don't want to be loitering around there, just to mm -hmm. tip them off. Mm. So we want to maybe yeah, around check. the arena. Right? Yeah. I mean, that's quite ballsy too, but that's what we do, right? Yeah, but I mean, <laughs> if, if, we, if we hang around the satellite dish, they might get suspicious of us trying to do something Fair about enough. the satellite uh, dish. Excellent observation to the arena, <laughs> it shall be. Mm -hmm. Do we have anything Indeed. else to do Sounds here? good. No, I think so. I think we're good. Yeah. <laughs> when we return, bountiful explosives. It will be joy for all. <laughs> On an explosive hunt. <laughs> I'm sure that can fail. Cool. All right, let's do it. Yeah. Okay. Um, so I think your journey to the uh, to the haunted canyon is like relatively un like uneventful, um, you Good. unclaimed territory, and uh, only when you sort of get close to the Lords of Rust territory around the arena do you um, do you start getting a lot of eyes on you. Um, but no one, uh, like, attempts to come and accost you or anything like that. Oh. Yeah, we own these streets. Fair enough. I'm never going to do that again. And so... Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, uh, so and so got... you, you get to sort of the northeast yeah. part of the... Sorry, go ahead, Jimmy. Oh no, oh no, we're not there yet. It's fine, I can wait. Once you get there, yeah. I'll... Okay, so once you get there... Mind um, yeah, so the... Uh, the canyon is like this long... Um, like... Uh, the the walls of the canyon are sort of... Like 50 feet, it's very like, sharp. <laughs> um, uh, do you know what it's like? It's like the... Canyon that Aragorn and Legolas and Gimli... <laughs> go into mm. um and there's like this this like eerie white mist like pouring out um and evaporating uh coming out of the canyon um uh and everything just feels like kind of clammy and unpleasant while you're there so right. um and and it's really difficult to see through as well mm. Like, your, your vision is limited to about 5 to 10 feet. I'd like to do some kind of knowledge, but which would it be? What do you think? Well, um, I'll, I'll do knowledge religion just so what to, are you trying to like, learn about? Okay. If this has something, anything spooky about it now. Ooh, actually. I mean, it's definitely spooky. Okay. Alright. Uh... uh I mean, it's a local feature. Heard... So, so, Gavin has probably heard like about um, sites with 
very high levels of like necromantic energy mm-hmm. um, start to get sort of um, uh, the word for for it um, like just like ambient like undead related phenomena starting happening um, so it's not not even like directly related to like spirits or anything it's just like the the necromantic energy seeping into the material plane mm. cool. consecrated desecrated i guess yeah yeah like unhallowed yeah. Well, I, oh yeah that's cool i i comment on this that this might be such a site mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah cool. very well like you 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 know be able to detect it if, if you like use detect magic or something like that you'd probably be able to just see like the necromancy could i do detect alignment like detect <laughs> evil um yes there is there is a very faint um like how does that how does that work like like you can like like physically see the auras or is it more like a sixth sense um i don't remember how it works like Technically, Let's see. Um, technically, it's a sixty-foot cone. Yeah, and you just you you can just see auras, but I'm just I'm just I'm wondering how it works. For I, you. I'd like to think that for Gavin, it's it's sort of like a just yeah. I like to think of it as more of as as a sixth sense. So it's. Mm-hmm. He, okay. He, yes. Yeah, so, yeah. like, as you're looking around, yeah. Um, you get like you you just get that like part of your brain is just going like yeah, there's something evil here. Okay. <laughs> but are we here or here? Ooh, didn't think, didn't okay. Um, I don't think it matters like too much. You're like you're at the beginning of the cavern. The cavern. Okay. You still got to walk through it. Okay. Okay. So it's not time for heroism yet. No. Probably not, no. So we can only, like, see five or ten feet ahead, right? Yeah. <laughs> Should we attach each other with, like, easy-to-detach ropes or something? <laughs> I think that might be a Maybe. bit more of a hindrance. Yeah. yeah. But... What if someone casts light on us, or an object, and we can carry the object well, or something. Well, it's not It's not, It's not. not that it's dark. It's that there's yeah. like yeah. mist. Mm. Sure, alright. So, if we hold, hold on to a rope, I suppose don't... Yeah. We I hold hands. Right. Yeah. <laughs> the elephant thing. Yeah. Oh. Mm. Uh, I'm not sure. Um, okay. Okay. Yeah, yeah may- I mean, maybe some sort of a yeah, piece of have, rope that we... Yeah. 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 Mm-hmm. Okay, sounds good. Yeah, so you start walking through... Uh, walking through this can- candle, and it's, it's very, very close. Like, uh, well, bits of it are, like, very, very close. Like, you're having to, like, shimmy through uh, bits and pieces of this canyon. Um, you get about 100 feet in, and... Uh, I guess, like, Stelmaris probably gets, you like, did. whacked in the head by a <laughs> bit of, like, debris. Just goes, bonk! Yeah. Doesn't hurt him at all. Um, hmm. uh, yeah, how do, you, how, how do you react to that, Cassie? Um, I guess we panic a bit, and then we see it's just a bit of debris. That's okay. <laughs> you were warned of this. Um... What is it? Yeah, just so like a random just... metal plate Principal. box thing? Yeah, let's have a look. Yeah, at just, just like a random piece of metal. Okay. Is yeah, it a ju- it's, it's, a it's just like a, like a can, like a tin. Okay. Um, and uh, Lardo, uh, you see, like, like a, um, like a black figure in the mist, like at the top of the canyon. Um, <laughs> that just, just for a second, like you see this. You're looking up, you see this figure just like vanishes. 
So I guess I'll go, did anyone else? And then everyone has got blank faces. See, but uh, nothing, <laughs> nothing. <laughs> whoa. whoa. <laughs> uh, and, You're seeing uh, things again, aren't you? God. Is that so who's at both? the front? Oh, who's at the front? I imagine it's probably going to be Stelmaris, unless anyone else yeah. wants to lead. Yeah. Stelmaris <laughs> already. Mm. Yes, okay, so we get like a shot that focuses on Stelmaris for a second. Um, and he turns to look back. He looks at you, Cassie, and it's just like this look of horror on his face. So we get like um, his face in the horror, and it cuts to Cassie. Um, and uh, your face is like all skeletal. Um, and then <laughs> oh, like God. this uh, this like skeletal like ghost like flies out of your face and into Stelmaris. Can you both make will staves for me? Oh shit. <laughs> I am glad I got that nice, um, what's we call it? Like a resistant thing. That's the one. Oh. Shit. Stone Mars does not have real. I'm a halfling, so I am fearless. So when that comes to me, <laughs> I, I'm emotionless. Okay, you are That's both. Good. Uh, you are both frightened. Right for four rounds, as this this ghostly oh skeleton like flies out, and, like, and then um, <laughs> you have to flee from the source of fear. So we turn around and flee, Scooby Doo style. <laughs> <laughs> Stop Wait, a bunch of cowards! Yeah. and we flee. <laughs> I I kind of look look at Stelmaris and Cassie with a sort of dumbfounded expression <laughs> mm. yeah and so so that you, is so, a bad so they idea like run past you. um and then you and then gavin you turn back and you look down the cabin ca yeah. cavern um and uh like it the, your visions are like kind of hazy and you can't really see through the yeah. the mist very well um and then you see uh, like a humanoid like dark shape standing um and it holds its hand out um, and lifts uh, like a hunk of metal off the ground, um, probably about <laughs> the size of a bowling ball, Can I um, fire and then my... just pushes it towards you. Yeah. Okay. Can I fire my crossbow at the figure? Um, you can try. Uh, does a 16 hit your flat-footed? I think 16 is exactly my flat-footed. Yeah. Okay, you take a point of damage. Yeah. As as this hunk of metal like flies towards you. Yeah, and uh, meanwhile I fire with eleven. Uh, eleven. Uh, yes, you got point blank shot, so you do hit. Um, however, you only do half damage. Okay. So so yeah, the the bolt just seems to like go through this creature and like leave a momentary hole, and then it reforms and it disappears again. Okay. What do you do? I comment on the figure. I also, I mean, I was probably shouting at Cassie and Stelmaris. Yeah. That, that is a bad idea <laughs> as they run in terror. And Gavin says this in the most neutral tone as possible. <laughs> <laughs> nice. And then I comment on the figure. I mean, the person next to me probably sees me firing a crossbow bolt at somewhere, something. <laughs> uh, what are you doing? There is a figure there. <laughs> Was he dark and mysterious? Yes, and I also got hit by this thing that I picked <laughs> up from the ground. Yeah, it's like it's like a really heavy like hunk of metal. It probably weighs like, like 20 pounds. Yeah. Yeah. And then I reload good, like, my crossbow. Shot. I assume that the figure is no longer there. No. He's okay. no longer there. I, I start um, tracking Stelmaris and Cassie. As yeah, you, you, you find... You, yeah, so, so like, it, it, the, the, the mists, like, quiet down again. Um, and Gavin, you find Cassie and Stelmaris, like, huddled in, like, a corner, like, 
Cassie, like, her face, like, buried in Stelmaris's, like, shaggy mane. <laughs> Am I correct in thinking I can cast resistance as many times a day as I want because it's a cantrip? You can, yes, but it won't stack with your cloak. No, but Stelmaris is no bonus. Yeah, you can cast on Stelmaris. In that case, I'm going to cast resistance on Stelmaris. Okay. It only sure. lasts at one minute. I'll keep casting it every minute because <laughs> I can cast it as many times a day as I want. Where can um, I? You can just alternate on minute. <laughs> Does anyone so else? Do you, do you try and like continue through the through the canyon? Yeah, if we're all here now. Yeah, of course. Yep. Yeah. I have uh, anything to terrify me. <laughs> that so, canyon is confused uh, by uh, all this terrif- terrification. That's um, not right. So. Uh, so, so, Lardo, you're, like, walking at the back of the group, and you're like, yeah, like, why are you all scared, scared of stuff? <laughs> like, all us halflings are always fearless. Um, and then, uh, uh, literally, like, in front of your face, like, two inches away from your face, um, there's Ooh. just a human skull with, the, with, like, a dangling spine, um, and it's like the most real, like gruesome looking like human skull you've ever seen. There's like a like shard of like cheek still attached to it. Um can you give me a will save? Okay, <laughs> so it's plus two against fear for me, so Yeah. I'm sure there's nothing to be frightened of. So uh, Oh, well, you passed your save. So for a moment, for, for maybe just a shred of a moment, we see like a like a look of surprise on Lardo's face. Um, and then you like put your hand out and just like through the skull and it disappears. <laughs> like I said, nice. nothing to be worried about. Although we do seem to not understand personal space. I mean, come on, basic courtesy. <laughs> <laughs> I guess I just see um, you just punching the air. Just thinking, God, what's all with all these things being hissed in the fog? Why could I not see any of this? It's ridiculous. What are you doing, guys? <laughs> Your time will come. <laughs> um, and so you've walked for a few more minutes, um, and uh, you come to uh, like a particularly like sharp, uh, thin bit of like canyon. Um, like it's probably like like maybe a foot and a half to two feet across like you're all gonna have to like shimmy your way through there um and you're all wet making your way through uh when there's uh one of you looks up and you see another one of these dark figures um and it raises its hand uh and uh just bits of the um canyon but begin to like Collapse and fall. Um, so can you can you all make reflex saves for me? Mm. Wow. Well, I've got a magic helping me now, <laughs> and I'm just awesome at reflex. I suck. <laughs> yeah, you do. Uh, <laughs> Still, Marvis does as well, <laughs> so it's all good. <laughs> I'm the only one who turned on the button. The shield thing. Yeah. Do that. Ah, oh, that's awesome. <laughs> okay, so um Stelmaris and Radit, you both take thirteen damage. I'm on... Everyone else takes six damage. Um and Radit, you are pinned. Oh um, okay. like a particularly like heavy piece of uh debris comes down and like pins you to the ground. Oh wow. And there's a um only you, only Rudy, can hear like a cackling on the uh, on the wind. All right. <laughs> so um, next up, I get evasion. Uh, so at first, I'm just like, guys, help, help! And then I just hear this kind of cackling, and just like, oh, who is that? <laughs> what do you want with me? <laughs> what do you want with us? I want to Slowly. remove this block from you. <laughs> okay, I'm going to give me a give me a strength check. Okay. Oh, yeah, Gavin sucks at strength checks. 
Nope. Yeah, you try and like. Ugh. Uh, tries to move. Shell <laughs> Morris is real bad. <laughs> that was a uh, bad. Alright, if we're all doing this, why not? Let's see if I can do it. You can't <laughs> all try. Like, the canyon is not, like, wide enough. Oh, Could cool. I use Artificer's Touch to just break apart the thing? Yes. Yes, that's a really, really clever thing to do. It'll take two uses of your ability, but you can do that. Good. Okay, I'll I'll do that. Yeah, so you, like, touch it, and it begins to, like, melt away and, like, rust. Yeah. Uh, uh, as nice. you uh, channel Bry's energy into it. Yep. Um, I do that. I, I yeah. just rip, rip off pieces of it with my bronze mm -hmm. glowy hand. Until nice. it's... A manageable size for ready to remove himself. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so you, I, I, you continue making yeah. your way through the canyon, uh, and like you find yourself like starting to like climb up on the wreckage. Um, and so I think I think we're probably going to end here because if we go into like the next um, like area, stuff okay. is going to happen and it will take okay. forever. So yeah, I don't want to leave it to live a fight or anything. Um, cool. So, like, the last shot we get is, um, like, the party, like, climbing out of the top of this mist. Um, and so you're standing on top of, like, the big, like, field of scrap. Um, and then you see uh, this, like, half-buried... Um, to the audience, looks like uh, like a fighter. Um, like a spaceship fighter, it's got like like a delta wing shape, mm. um, and then like a long nose, um, with like a an irising airlock on one side of it, um, and yeah, so there's uh, the mist is like seeping from this airlock is like slightly open, and the mist is like seeping out of this ship. Uh, uh. Um. And we finish on finish on that shot, I think. Okay. Yeah. Cool. Spooky ship. <laughs> spooky, spooky. Yeah. Love it. So, um, that'll be. Yeah. Thank Mr. Skeletal. <laughs> um. So yeah, that'll be that'll be it for for this week. Um, we'll be back in two weeks probably. I, I can't. I'll do two weeks. Sorry. We'll sort something out then. Yeah. Um, okay. Do three, maybe. Yeah, maybe. Sorry, maybe, guys. maybe yeah. next next week or or, or sometime. Next week we'll, 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 yes, yeah. e either next week um, or three weeks or two weeks works for me. Yeah. At some point. Next. I'm not so. Sure. Um, until then, thanks everyone for watching. Uh, I will try and get all the VODs and everything up on YouTube reasonably soon this time, instead of leaving it for three weeks. Um, and we'll be back next time with more crazy Pathfinder action and spoopy ghosts. Yay. So, Yay. thanks everyone. Yay. We'll see you later. See ya. Bye. 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 Bye.